10 Steps to Mastering Your Emotions Recognize Your Emotions The first step in emotional mastery is identifying and acknowledging your feelings. This might seem simple, but it requires a high level of self-awareness. Pay attention to the physical sensations in your body, as they often give clues about your emotional state. Are you feeling a knot in your stomach, a racing heart, or a sense of restlessness? These can be indicators of emotions like anxiety, excitement, or anger. Labeling these emotions accurately is crucial. It's not just about feeling bad or good, but understanding whether you're feeling sad, frustrated, anxious, or elated. Accept your feelings. Emotional acceptance is about acknowledging your emotions without judgment. It's important to understand that all emotions are valid and have a purpose. Instead of trying to suppress or ignore them, acknowledge that they are a natural response to your experiences and thoughts. Remember, accepting your emotions doesn't mean you agree with them or that you allow them to control your actions, but rather that you recognize them as a part of your human experience. Understand the triggers. Every emotion has a trigger. These can be external, like a comment from a colleague or a specific situation, or internal, like a memory or a thought. By identifying what specifically triggers your emotional responses, you gain insight into how to manage these triggers and prepare for them. For instance, if you know that being in large groups triggers anxiety, you can develop strategies to cope with these feelings or gradually expose yourself to such environments in a controlled manner. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in managing emotions. It involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Mindfulness practices like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or even mindful walking can help in calming your mind and giving you space to process your emotions. These practices teach you to observe your thoughts and feelings without getting swept away by them. Develop emotional awareness. This step goes beyond recognizing and naming emotions. It's about understanding the nuances of your feelings and how they influence your thoughts and actions. For example, anger might be a secondary emotion, masking deeper feelings of hurt or vulnerability. Developing this awareness can be challenging, but it's essential for emotional regulation and personal growth. Express your emotions constructively. It's important to find healthy outlets for expressing your emotions. This could be through talking to someone you trust, writing in a journal, engaging in physical activity or creative expression like painting or music. Constructive expression helps to process emotions in a safe way, rather than letting them build up or explode in harmful manners. Use positive affirmations. Positive affirmations can reframe your mindset. These are positive, empowering statements that you repeat to yourself, especially during challenging times. For example, telling yourself, I am capable of handling this situation or I am worthy of respect and love can shift your perspective and influence your emotional state positively. Practice empathy. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, can be a powerful tool in understanding your own emotions. By putting yourself in someone else's shoes, you not only foster compassion and connection, but also gain insights into your own emotional responses. Seek professional help when needed. There's no shame in seeking help from a therapist or counselor if you're struggling to manage your emotions. These professionals can provide you with strategies and tools that are tailored to your individual needs. They can also offer a safe space to explore and understand your emotions without judgment. Reflect and learn. Finally, take time to reflect on your emotional experiences. What did you feel? Why did you feel it? How did you react? What could you do differently next time? Reflection is a key part of learning and growing in emotional intelligence. It's not about being hard on yourself, but about understanding and evolving from your experiences. In summary, mastering your emotions is a journey of self-discovery, acceptance, and growth. It involves developing a deep understanding of yourself and your emotional landscape and using this knowledge to live a more balanced and fulfilling life. Remember, this is a continuous process, and being patient with yourself is crucial.